to hop. Hey guys, I just wanted to quickly pop in and say Happy New Year's. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and announce the JCPenney giveaway winners. So thank you guys so much for entering. All right, without further ado, here are the four winners. We have Park Julie, Shang HV, Tino123, and Susie Moy. Congratulations, guys. Thank you for entering. Please do direct message me here on YouTube. Uh, if for whatever reason you don't have direct messaging, comment down below and let me know or reach out to me on social media and we will figure it out. But all right, let's just go ahead and get right into the video. We're gonna start with Pop Beauty's Zero Shine Prime. I think I tried this before. I honestly can't remember if I loved it or not, but we're gonna use it again. And I am using 100% drugstore products, I believe. Let's get this right here. So yeah, ever since my you know, being honest with you, that chit chat, get ready with me. We are long overdue for a catch up. It's It's been way too long. I, I've been wanting to catch up with you guys since last month, but um, yeah, last month was a pretty heavy sponsored month and you guys responded very positively to that. So thank you so much. So that actually felt not as silicone as I remembered. It kind of felt more creamy. The foundation I'm using is Maybelline Dream Cushion. It is the liquid foundation on the go, and I have it here in the shade 45. I have tried this once before. I think I got a little bit lighter <laughs> ever since I last used this, but it isn't the longest wearing, and if your face is especially oily, you know, you may feel hit or miss with this one. Got some more color in my face, which I love. Um, we're gonna bounce it out now, though, with some concealer. This isn't new, but I'm just using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Love it. I'm just gonna get that all under here just to brighten the face up. And I'm gonna be using my e.l.f. Angled Blush Brush. And even though it's a blush brush, I think it's a little bit on the dense side, so I just prefer it to blend out like foundation concealer. So now we're going to set it with my Pop Beauty Setting 101. So let's start with, let's see, what brush do I wanna to use today? This is the Real Techniques powder brush. So let's start with the translucent powder, pat that onto the forehead, down the nose. And then we're gonna go into the banana powder, which is the yellow one. And I'm also gonna apply that underneath the eyes because I just like how it brightens up underneath here. And on my chin too. I have sparkle on my face. Oh boy. Um, but let's do the brows. So we're gonna use the pomade crayon. Actually, Matt has my makeup bag. I just came back from New York, by the way. <laughs> um, I didn't go there for New Year's. I actually went there with Matt's family to celebrate his grandpa's, I believe, 86th birthday. So that was like my first time meeting a lot of his like extended family on his mom's side. That was an awesome time. I had a really, really lovely time just meeting his family and his grandparents. It was just very, very endearing. So that was great. I'm just using this NYX angled brush and spoolie and I'm just sort of like spreading the product around on my brow. Can sort of brush it through. Oh yeah, we have this. So I feel like this is pretty extra. I mean, like, I love Maybelline products, but this, <laughs> so it's a brow precise perfecting highlighter. Highlight underneath your brows to give them a more like sharp defined look. Let's see if it works well to use my finger to blend this out. I think I'm gonna use a brush for this top part. I do like how it's just brightening this area and highlighting it. Let's just see how it wears like throughout our time. Getting ready. So I already do have eye primer on. I just have my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer on my upper lid and a little bit underneath. So I'm actually using these new Maybelline Expert Wear eyeshadows. I don't know if the formula has been reformulated or not, but they seem to be a lot better. They seem really, really good. Let's start with Seashell. It's like this really nice, soft, muted, light pink. I'm just using my Sonia Kashuk blending brush because I like how dense it is. Elf Professional Blending Eye Brush. And we are gonna go into Cool Cocoa. 
Oh yeah, that's some good pigmentation right there. And then I'm going to take this shade in Nude Glow, which looks so pretty in the pan. And I'm going to take this other Sonia Kashuk shader brush. Let's just get that on the center of the lid. I do just want to soften the edges a little bit. It's kind of harsh. Okay, there we go. Looking much nicer. Made for Mocha, so it's just this deep matte brown. So let's just use that brush and just take a tiny bit of it, tap right in. Deepen up this outer V. Yeah, these are pretty pigmented. I'm really impressed. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and skip to the lip color because I'm like dying to try it out. And I realize I have not been like talking to you guys much up until this point, so. Let's just try this lip color and then we can really figure out what I want to do with the rest of the look. Because this might end up a lot darker on my lips than I'm thinking it will. This is in the shade Statement Nude and it's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. I love these. I've tried these before. I think they are so great. Oh, I like it. I would say that it didn't end up too much darker than I thought it would. So. Pretty happy with the color. But the reason why I love these is because it's incredibly pigmented and not over drying. It, even right now, it feels really, really good. All right, so what else is new? A few months ago, I applied to become a crisis text line counselor, made it into the program. It's a one year commitment. I'm actually still in training right now, wrapping it up and things are looking good. It's, um, I've been looking for like a good volunteer opportunity for a long time that I felt like would suit me and this was just so perfect. Oh, I lied to you guys. I This is one non-drugstore product. It's from ColourPop, which is really affordable. So I thought it'd be all right if I squeeze this in. It's the black one in Swerve. It is really good. And I'm just using my e.l.f. concealer brush, which I like to use as a gel liner brush. These are so cheap too. I hope these still exist. I'm using some really old school brushes. Create a tiny wing. We're gonna line the waterline. Then I'm gonna take this smudge brush, also from e.l.f., and just smudge out this outer half so that it doesn't look too harsh. I'm actually really, I'm loving how this is coming together. It's kind of like a little bit glam, but still sophisticated and neutral. So during that time, I was pretty much kind of just gone because you guys, I talked to you guys about how I sort of needed a break from this so that I could focus my efforts elsewhere. During that time, what I was doing was I was basically connecting with people. I guess the word, the technical word is like networking. I don't like that word very much though, even though I guess that's what it is, but just connecting with people, picking their brains. Um, I was spending a lot of time doing that and I felt like I learned a lot. I was also going in for some informational interviews, which I'm very fortunate to have some friends who were able to set that up for me. But I just think that was really, really kind of them to go out of their way to do that. You know who you are if you're watching this. I love you. Thank you for that. Okay, we actually got cut off for a moment there. But yeah, through all the networking and the friends helping me with connections, I'm actually going to be interning very soon, which is crazy because so, okay, it was actually my decision to do an internship. You might be thinking, why not just take on another job? Well, I really wanted to learn new things and I felt like because I'm not exactly sure of exactly what I want to do next, interning seemed to make the most sense. Um, I also have never had an internship before, so this is actually really, really exciting. I'm I'm like the sponge, you know, I just want to soak it all in. I just think when you when you want to learn more, it's just going to make you a much more like well-rounded person. So I don't feel like I lose anything from taking this internship except time. Okay, so because of this, I felt like I wanted to tell you guys this because this will affect, very likely affect how often I can upload and post because I will be dedicating time 
to this internship as well as to the volunteer program. You know what, like honestly, having less time to do videos, I know is going to push me to do them better than ever. <laughs> I, like I, I just know that about myself, that I'm like, I'm the type of person that works well under pressure. And when things are more balanced, this becomes more of a creative outlet, which was what it was to begin with when I started YouTube. This was a creative outlet for when I was still in school. I think I spent like 10 minutes just curling my lashes now, right? <laughs> All right, let's just apply a little bit of mascara. I decided I will apply some lashes, so. Yeah, I don't know why I spent so much time curling my lashes. It's like a habit. Oh, I'm using my Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious Full Fan Effect Mascara in Waterproof. I feel like this mascara is drying up a little bit, but that's okay because we are going to apply some falsies. The lashes I'm going to be applying are from Kiss. These are just some of my favorite um, affordable lashes. They just look really nice. And I'm also going to be using their clear strip lash adhesive, their glue. I'm actually just going to take my smudge brush and go into that cocoa, that medium brown shade, and just set right underneath my eyes. So now let's apply some bronzer. I didn't contour earlier, so we're just gonna apply the bronzer a little bit heavier. And I'm using my oldie but goodie NYC Sunny Bronzer to use this brush from e.l.f. It's their complexion brush. So yeah, that's basically what has been going on with me. I don't know, I'm probably missing some things, but I think I think we covered like the, the big, the big thing. Okay, we're gonna use another oldie but goodie because I was just debating on what drugstore blush to use. We'll use Milani's Baked Blush in Coralina just to give my cheeks a little bit more of a coral flush. I've been into coral blushes more lately and we're just using Real Techniques Blush Brush. Okay, and then I'm gonna try this for the first time. It's e.l.f.'s Illuminating Palette. It has four different highlights. I think I'm gonna use the lightest one. Let's use the lightest one. Let's get that right there. Oh yeah, you can see that. I actually really like that. I think it looks very brightening and not just a ton of shimmer. So I really like the shade, the color is perfect. I do want to take a little bit of this shade and just pop it right in here. Saved you guys out a little bit. But all right, that is a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really loved catching up with you. Thank you guys for watching. Love you so much. Happy 2017. Make it a good year. Get things set in motion and don't be too hard on yourself. Be kind to yourself. That's like the biggest thing that I have to take away from 2016 is just to be kinder to yourself and be kind to other people. Okay, love you, bye.